And innovations in technology is all the talk now at the annual invitation-only code conference. It was created to bring together some of the biggest names in business to discuss the future impact of digital technologies. Julia Borston talked with the head of Netflix about his business and where the industry is headed. Netflix has grown to over 100 million subscribers around the world, but it faces more competition than ever as Amazon and Hulu invest in original content and YouTube and others launch streaming services. Of all these rivals, Reed Hastings tells me he's scared of Amazon. Well, they're so scary. I mean, everything Amazon does is just so amazing. I mean, how are they doing so many different business areas so well? It's like they're trying to repeal the basic laws of business of limited capability. So we're continuing to watch them and be impressed with them. Them, and they're helping to grow the industry because they're investing in the content. While Hastings says he's scared of Amazon, he also tells us he's not going to try to out Amazon Amazon and won't buy sports rights just because Amazon is investing in NFL games. There are a number of media giants here talking about how they'll compete and reach consumers in the crowded digital age, including the editor of the New York Times and the CEO of Time Warner. But Hastings tells us he's focused on growing Netflix's library and continuing its global expansion. We've done awfully well in Latin America and in Europe and of course in North America. So we've learned some things, but we have a lot of room to grow in Asia and a lot to figure out still. What about China? You're licensing to China, but are you still trying to launch there or is that off the table? I think that's off the table for the next couple of years. And Hastings says Netflix's success is not at the expense of the traditional television business. Very few people have cut the cord. Um, we're about 50 million in the U.S. and we've seen maybe two or three million of 50 cut the cord. So don't think of it as a big overlap that we're driving cord cutting. That's probably mostly from pricing. And in general, if you look at cord cutting, it's like two or three percent per year, like broadcast ratings over the last 30 years. And so it'll have, I think, a very long, slow, secular decline, no big calamity, and then they'll adjust the economics. Whether it's the New York Times embracing Twitter or Netflix bringing its movies to theaters, old and new media giants are here in Southern California debating the best way to connect with billions of consumers. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Rancho Palos Verdes, California.